My husband smashed our wedding cake into my face, so I left him and he got to experience the shortest marriage of his life. I, 27 female, and my husband, 29 male, have been together for three years. In those three years, I have never known him to be selfish, occasionally immature, yes, but even that was rare. Those problems arose when those stupid cake smashing videos got popular and my husband thought they were hilarious. I've never thought they were funny and he knows that. Yet, he was always showing me the videos of those poor wives getting the happiest day of their life ruined by their asshole partner for some cheap laughs. He also knows I have a history with cake smashing. My family does the cake smashing thing. I remember it was my 17th birthday and I pleaded with my mother to not do it. She promised and I trusted her. I had my hair and makeup done all nice and right as I blew out my candles, my mom pushed my head into the cake and one of the decorations on the cake ended up slicing my forehead. Not enough to go to the hospital, but enough for some substantial bleeding. My birthday was ruined and after, I wouldn't come out of my room. My mom still calls me a brat for that. I told him if he ever did something like that to me, I'd leave him. He started laughing, but I was being for real. Though, he really was not taking me seriously. Now, I'll skip to a few days ago when my wedding happened. Everything was perfect. I was happy. He was happy. I was excited for our new lives as newlyweds. I felt like a princess in my poofy white dress and done up hair with perfect makeup. All very expensive things I would like to mention. We get to the cake cutting part and as I turn to him, he scoops up a huge chunk of our wedding cake and smashes it all over my face. Everything just seemed to go in slow motion for a few moments. He's just laughing at me and then says, you should see your face and continues to laugh. Other people in the crowd, mostly my family, is also laughing at me. Then I just start walking away. He realizes that I'm leaving and tries to catch up with me and says I'm being extra. I push him away and order an Uber. As I get outside, most of the crowd is following me, telling me to come back. I get into the Uber and drive away. I drove to our apartment and packed most of my things and went to stay at a hotel. My family and his family have been blowing up my phone for days, saying I'm being childish and my husband is a good man and it was just a joke. My husband has been calling me off the hook, telling me to please come home and that he wants to talk, that he's sorry and didn't think I'd get that emotional. This was supposed to be the happiest day of our lives and he embarrassed me in front of everyone for some prank that he knew I hated. Not only that, he ruined a $500 cake. He ruined my makeup, my hair, and the top of my dress. The cake got all over it. Though I do still love him and I'm wondering if I really was too hard on him. That seems to be everyone else's opinion. So what do you guys think? My ex took my daughter's ashes with him after we broke up and it tears me up inside. I want her back so bad. I'm 25. My daughter was born sleeping and even though it was three years ago, it always looked in the back of my mind as the worst day of my life. My ex, let's call him M, was unsupportive of me my entire pregnancy. He would constantly tell me how he wasn't ready and didn't want to be a dad. He begged me to give her up. As soon as we found out she was sleeping, he immediately started acting like he had always wanted to be a father. Just soaking up all the attention he got from having a deceased daughter. I saw right through it all, of course. Our relationship gradually got worse and worse until I couldn't take it anymore. The house was a mess and he was using our daughter's death as an excuse for everything. Why didn't he have a job? You know how it's been since she died. I can't work. Can he please take the trash out? Sorry, I keep getting flashbacks of Lily. Not gonna do it. It got to the point where he started blaming Lily's death for his abhorrent behavior towards me. He'd yell and scream at me for the smallest things and then say it's just because he's grieving. As if I wasn't also grieving and yet still working to support the both of us. I finally broke up with him last year and it was a horrible ordeal. It was so stressful trying to get him out of the apartment that I didn't even notice he had taken the urn with Lily's ashes in it until a few days later. Of course, I frantically called and texted him, asking if he moved it. He finally got back to me and said, she's my daughter, she's going to be with me. I yelled at him so bad on the phone. I shouldn't have, but it was too much emotion to deal with. I told him that he was a terrible father and he never even wanted our daughter. And you know what? He just laughed and said I was too crazy to have been a mother anyways. He since blocked me and every attempt to reach out to his family to get her back has failed. He moved to an entirely different state. Maybe I am crazy, but I know one thing. Lily was truly loved by me. Even if she's not with me physically, I'm sure she knows who actually loved her. I can't help but worry about the conditions that my ex is keeping her in though. She's probably in a box collecting dust and it tears me up inside every day. I miss my daughter so much and I can't tell you how much I cried wishing I could have her back. Is there anything I can do? Should I apologize and pretend to be nice so I can get her back? My wife, 30 female, got an abortion after she found out that I, 30 male, cheated. I need advice urgently. 
My wife, 30 female, and I, 30 male, have been together for close to seven years. She was the most important thing in my life. She is slash was four months pregnant with our first child. These first three months of pregnancy have been hell. She has been extremely sick and she has had horrible morning sickness, mood swings to a point where I had started questioning whether I married the right person. So about a month ago, we had a team building dinner at my office where there was plenty of alcohol. After the team building, one of my coworkers, 32 male, invited five of us to his place. I got very drunk and made the worst mistake of my life. I slept with one of my coworkers, Lucy, 28 female. I knew immediately that I had made a mistake and so in the morning, I told her that it was a mistake and that I loved my wife. Things have been quiet from that time. The relationship with my wife had gotten better. The fourth month of pregnancy had been great. She is back to the happy person she was before. Everything changed on Tuesday this week when my wife asked me whether it's true that I slept with Lucy. I admitted immediately and asked who told her. Apparently, Lucy got in touch with my wife and told her everything. I tried to ask for forgiveness, but my wife basically told me that she is not interested in anything I have to say. That she needs time and not to talk to her. Yesterday, she went to work as usual and I thought maybe she would forgive me. Today, when I woke up to go to work, she was not home. I got worried because she was not picking up my calls and so I took time off today. About an hour ago, her best friend brought her home and immediately left. I tried to ask her what's wrong and she just said that I should ask my wife, which I did. So she basically told me that she is done with our marriage. I need to look for a place to live for the next year as we apply for divorce. I asked what about our child? She said that she will give me the address of the hospital she went to so that I can get it. I tried asking more questions but she told me that she is tired and in pain and to leave her alone that I should tell her when I plan on moving out. I feel so sick. How do I solve this, please? I know that I made a mistake by sleeping with my coworker, but I don't think I can live without my wife. Is there any way I can fix this? It hurts because I feel like she aborted the child to get back at me. She didn't want children, but I managed to convince her to get one. Am I wrong for slapping my cousin, nine male, in the face after he kicked my cat and causing a huge family fight? Okay, so this happened last night. I've just woken up to the biggest shit show of my life. Please kill me. My cousin Tom usually comes to my house every couple of weeks or so as part of our family meetup. And to say he's a pain in the ass is an understatement. As some context, I hadn't woken up in the greatest of moods as I ate something bad the night before and was suffering from pretty severe food poisoning. Later, after I was done puking my guts up, I decided to relax and watch some Netflix on my Xbox with my kitten, Penelope, who was sitting on the carpet next to my bed to take my mind off it. Fast forward about 30 minutes later and Tom storms into my room and demands to go use my Xbox as he was bored and had nothing to do. At this point, I'd usually just end it there and allow it, but I was really in the won't take bullshit mood and told him to get out of my room. He wasn't having any of that and promptly walked up to my bed and started screaming shit full volume into my ear, at which point I just told him to f*** off. He turned around turned back again and kicked Penelope into the side of the bed. I got out of my bed and slapped him as hard as I could around the face, whilst telling him to never touch my cat again. He ran out of my room, slammed the door, screaming and crying, and I can faintly hear him speaking to my uncle. I didn't hear a word. My dad came steaming upstairs, stormed into my room, and shouted at me like he never has before. I managed to faintly squeal out the words, Dad, he kicked Penelope, or something like that, and then he stopped walked out of my room and stormed downstairs to the rest of my family where he starts f***ing yelling at what I assume was my uncle. This didn't stop until I passed out of my bed from the stress of the whole thing. Back to now, I have dozens of notifications telling me I'm a horrible person. Family won't speak to me. I have 20 missed calls from unknown callers. News has spread and I frankly can't take it, so I came to vent here instead.